the scale I have connects to my phone via Bluetooth. So I stood on the scale about two days ago and then a message came up on my phone saying, Hey, Ayodele, is that you? <laughs> I've gained so much weight, he doesn't recognize me. <laughs> well, he wants to be sure it's me. <laughs> it wasn't funny at the time. I was so shocked. I've never seen it do that before. So I was I was very shocked. Actually, it wasn't shocked. I was like heartbroken. How much weight could I have put on? Oh dear. It wasn't funny. Anyway. If you haven't, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and press on that bell so that when I drop a new video you get notified. This is a fun channel to be part of. Um, I talk about fitness and I want to reassure us all that no matter how old you might think you are, you could always get fitter. It's never ever too late. So going back to my predicament, stood on my scale asking me if it was me because I've added a bit of um, pounds. <laughs> I went through a period of transformation, didn't I? And the link to that video to see what I did is in the description. When I did that transformation, I had the body of an athlete. And the key word is hard. <laughs> and that was just a few weeks ago. Let's face it, how many people have you seen who've lost so much weight, you see them six months later and you wonder, what happened? They either gone back to how they used to be or worse still, put on a lot more weight. Losing weight could be hard, but keeping it off is even harder. What I want to talk about today is simply how to maintain your weight, especially once you've gone through the process of weight loss which in itself could be very daunting you have to be disciplined you have to know what you're doing you have to follow a process to get there you've done all that hard work how do you maintain it i'm talking about keeping it off consistently now like in my case sometimes it fluctuates a little bit but that's when you need to take charge and rectify whatever the issue might be before it gets too late. So how can you maintain whatever weight loss you've been able to achieve? Number one, eat only when you're hungry. Eating shouldn't be something you do for comfort, something you do when you're angry or when you're a bit down. When you're hungry means your body is craving for food. Then eat. When you're not hungry and you eat, the tendency is that you're eating things that are not necessarily good for you. So that's when the chocolate comes in, the cake, the snack, and all that adds up. However, if you have the discipline to eat mainly when you're hungry, what it does, it controls your body weight. And you will keep that weight for as long as you want to. All you need is the discipline. Number two, still sticking with food. Mind what you eat. Eat food that benefits you. Now, I'm not against treats every now and then because what is life if you cannot treat yourself? But that's what they should be, treats. And they should be as infrequent as possible because that is not what your body actually needs so less sugar less fat a bit of carbs a lot more protein things like that will help you maintain the body weight that you've worked so hard to get be aware of what you eat what is in what you're eating is it good for you are there other foods that you can't eat rather than those things that might taste nice but might not be good for you? So be aware of what you're actually taking in. Number three, working out. 
working out needs to be a lifestyle, a habit, not something that you do just when you think you have time or when it's convenient. It's something that you do and you make it part of your lifestyle. Now there's a link again in the description of a video I did earlier which talks about making working out part of your lifestyle. Check it out. I'll give you an instance. Just today, I over ate. I knew I was eating a bit too much. This evening, I thought, you know what, I've done a bit of eating. <laughs> Let me balance this out so I went for a second run. And I could only do that because fitness or working out has become a lifestyle. It was easy for me to dust my shoes up, wear my running gear and go for a quick run. Just half an hour out and back. But in that half hour, I burned so many calories and that helps me to keep my weight in check. Remember, just a few days, I weighed myself and even the scale could not recognize me. I need to get back to where I used to be. So when I over ate, I balanced that out by going for a quick run. So make working out a lifestyle. Number four, find a support group, a network group that will help you to stay in check. And when I say support group, I'm not talking about the group where you sit down and they go, so are you jelly? Tell us what <laughs> Tell us what's on your mind. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but not those kind of groups. I mean groups of people who have like mind in the area of you maintaining your weight. For instance, and I've said this over and over in my previous videos, I'm a member of the running club of our church. The church I go to has a running club and I'm a member. And all we do is encourage each other. If there's somebody on the group, for instance, that hasn't run in a long time, we've noticed we send them a message in public, come on guy, you could do this, go for a quick run. And usually, 9 out of 10 times, this person will go for a run and put it on the group. And then we all clap for them saying, well done, just to encourage. Find a group like that. Or find a group of friends who want to maintain their weight as well. And find a way of making sure that you encourage each other. People can help you to achieve what you want to in terms of your weight. Actually, I'll take that back because we're not talking about achieving it here. We're talking about you haven't achieved it already and wanting to maintain it. So there are people who are in the same category as you are and they can help you do that as you help them as well. It's a symbiotic relationship. You could help each other. And finally, I started this by saying I weighed myself. A lot of people will despise their skills because the skills will tell them the truth. <laughs> like mine did. When people start saying I'm not weighing myself anymore, it's because they do not like what they're potentially going to see. Weigh yourself anyway. Because your skill is designed to tell you the truth. And when that number hits you and you see it, do something about it. Like I said earlier, I weighed myself early on this week and what I've done in response is managed my food a bit better even though I kind of indulged today. But other than today, I've managed myself a bit better in terms of what I have consumed and I've upped my workout. So rather than going for one run a day, which I've been doing recently, I've gone for two. Now I expect to go back on the scale in a few days and hopefully <laughs> I should be back to where I want to be or at least almost there. And I could only do this because I have befriended my skill even though sometimes I do not like what it's telling me. Because your weight will fluctuate, it happens. What you do however, before it gets out of hand, start to manage yourself so it doesn't get to a place where you totally abandon the skill. Because once you get there, is downhill onwards and you don't want to be in that place therefore make your skill your friend even when it's telling you the truth 
we can do this. We can get to a place where we maintain our weight. Let's do this guys, we can maintain that weight. Take care.